showing you how to create this very glamorous, very gorgeous and even glittery makeup look for the Garba Dandia season. I absolutely love creating looks for the Indian season because it's all about the coal eyes and a lot of glitter and drama and glamour and yeah. I created this look keeping in mind that you will be dancing all night so it's gonna be sweat proof and it's gonna be budge proof. So if you're interested in knowing how to recreate this look, please keep watching. I've already applied my foundation and my concealer and today for my lens I'm wearing these Bella contact lenses in the color Pacific Blue. Before we start with our eye makeup, I'm gonna apply a little bit of translucent powder just underneath my eyes in my highlighted area to bake my makeup. I've explained this technique in detail in my Eshwarya Rai Khan makeup tutorial so if you're interested in watching that, I'll leave the link to that down below. I'm gonna start our eye look with a little bit of eyeshadow primer. This is gonna make our eyeshadow last a long, long time. Also gonna make sure that our eyeshadow colors look bright and vibrant. For this look, I'll be using the Coastal Sense 120 palette because all the colors that we need is right here in this palette and it's also very, very affordable. I'm also gonna apply a strip of tape right to the corner of my eyes to give us that guideline. If you decide to use a tape as a guide, make sure that you stick it on your hand and get rid of that extra stickiness before you apply it on your eyes. I'm gonna line this up just to the edge of my eyebrows. As our first transition shade, I'm going to apply a mix of these two shades right on our crease and blend it out. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this mauve pink and apply it right over that transition shade that we applied. As always, we're building a gradual transition of colors, you know, marry them all together. With a smaller blending brush, take this purple shade and apply it right to your crease. The transition bit is done and we are working on the depth right now. And getting both the eyes to look similar is a very difficult task because almost all of us have different eye shapes actually, you know. Try to get it as close to um, each other as possible but really it's okay. Just do what you can. Now I'm going to take this deep mahogany color and mix it with a little bit of dark charcoal gray and deepen up that crease even more. With a flat shader brush, pick up a frosty beige color and apply it to your inner half of your eyelid. At this stage, you can get it to your inner corners as well, the same very color. Now I'm going to move on to this beautiful teal pigment from Inglot. So I'm going to pick it up with a dense blending brush and apply it to the outer corner of my eyes. And carefully redefine that crease. You can stop the eyes kind of right here but I'm going to add a little bit of glitter for that extra pizzazz. So for that I'm going to take a little bit of Glitter adhesive, I'm gonna apply it on the back of my hand and pick it up with my finger and apply it right on top of just the eyelid. And then I'm gonna start by using this diamond powder by Makeup Forever and I'm gonna apply it to the first half of my eyelid. To the outer half, I'm gonna use this teal purple glitter by Kaylin. Once again, we're going to take that big fluffy blending brush and just clean out the crease because we don't need any glitter on the crease, you know. Now we'll go ahead and highlight the underneath of our brow bone. Phew! It's time to take out this little puppy right here. Whoop! A nice thick layer of winged eyeliner. I shall apply this, apply a little bit of mascara, apply my false lashes and I'll be back. All the details of all the products including the eyelash and the eyelash glue and where you can get them. Everything will be down in the description box, okay? So now we can wipe off this translucent powder we applied to bake. And what I've noticed is that when you bake your makeup like this, it kind of even fills out your fine line. 
yeah so i really like this baking especially if you have an event it makes your makeup budge proof before we move on to the face let's finish up the eyes completely i'm gonna pick up the deep purple color once again i'm gonna apply it on my lower lash line i'm gonna get a little bit of black eyeshadow and a small angle brush and i'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line even further get it as close to the lash line as you can water line your water line and your eye makeup is done as for the lips we're gonna stay in the pink family i'm gonna line my lips with this bright pink lip liner and then i'm gonna fill it in with this beautiful mauvey lipstick remember guys all the product information will be given in the description bar okay to add a little bit of life to the lips and to finish off the whole look, I'm going to apply a lip gloss right to the center of my lips. And that's it for this year's Garba makeup. I'm not even a North Indian and I've never really played the Dandia. At least once in my life, I would love to play Dandia. I hope you have a lot of fun and I hope I was able to help you look glam for this season hope you enjoyed this look remember all the product details will be down in the description box i hope you've subscribed to my channel so that you can follow all of the new videos that i put up on this channel give this video a thumbs up if this helped you and i shall see you later maybe on instagram maybe on snapchat maybe on both i love you bye